Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Dr. Downey, and today I'm going to show you how you can improve your renal function within a few minutes. So you're not technically improving it, what I'm going to show you is that you should probably be calculating your own GFR if you are a bodybuilder, because bodybuilders tend to be heavier than the average person, as well as tend to hold a bit more muscle size and have a larger surface area. And remember, these calculations, your GFR calculations, are essentially indicating how well your kidney is functioning, so how well it is filtrating Sir, oh, filtrating your own blood and clearing your blood. So it's a good kidney marker. So the calculation is based on a few assumptions. These assumptions include your weight, height, and age, and sometimes. Um, so essentially they just give you the average person's weight and height and use your creatine to calculate a GFR. This is not good, however, in bodybuilders because, as you know, bodybuilders tend to be heavier than the average person. So I'm going to show you how you can calculate your own GFR using your creatinine. So for the first patient, um, he I was just referred this patient. He was concerned because his GFR or eGFR has always been low. And if we look here, his eGFR is 58. And this is based on the CKD uh, EPI calculation, which is the calculation most often used these days. And if we look at his creatinine, that is also elevated. The thing is, his eGFR has always been low, and it is less than 60, so if it, your eGFR is less than 60, I would consult a doctor first, preferably a nephrologist, just to go over things and be open with them about your steroid use and supplement use and etc. So what concerned him was his uh, he had a family history of kidney disease, so it was important that he saw a nephrologist, but I'm just using his case um, to show, display to you why estimated glomerular uh, low filtration rates are not the best. So I will share this website with you, but this is the Cockroft Galt formula. CKD EPI tends to be the best one, however, in a study uh, performed in athletes, they found that the CG calculation for your GFR seemed to be the best as it was not, it did not change um, when the athletes were exercising or not exercising. However, CKD EPI see, seemed to change. So this seemed to be the best. So if we look here, it requires a few things from you. You just need to put your serum creatinine in uh, milligrams per deciliter. And as you see, um, his were in micromoles per liter, so we have to convert that. The conversion is you multiply the 129 multiplied by 0 0.0113, and that gives you about 1.46. So we'll put that in. 1.46. He is 43 years old, and he weighs 94 kilograms, and he's a male. So if we look here and we calculate, his, the results display that his calculated GFR is 87 millimeters per mili uh, milliliters per minute. So this is a bit better than uh, the 58 he displayed, but obviously for this case with family history and having an eGFR less than 60, it's always important to consult a doctor and a nephrologist. So we will use my blo uh, recent blood work for the next scenario. I was a bit concerned about my recent blood work because my eGFR tends to always be above 89. However, it was 85. Well, this isn't recent blood work, sorry. This is when I was at a massive bulk at my heaviest my eGFR is above 89 now, however, I was around 120 kilograms at when these bloods were taken. So I'm just going to show you that you don't only have to use that um, calculation, the CG calculation. We can use the better and more fr uh, recent CKD EPI calculation, which is a bit more accurate. However, it hasn't been tested in athletes as 
as much as the CEG one has, but I'll just display to you how you can do that. So I'll share both of the links down below. But as we can, as we see, my uh, creatinine was in micromoles per liter. So just check your units, and it was a hundred and five. Uh, as you see here, they do have cystatin C, but if you don't have that result, that's fine. My age is 20. I was 24 when this was taken. Um, yes, I am quite young. I'm 25 now, as of yesterday. Um, so you want to use the standardized essay, or, and you want to remove body surface adjustment, because that just gives you an average... Uh, an average that just uses the average person's uh, body surface area or average males so I am 195 centimeters I am and when this was taken I was around 120 kilograms so if we calculate that my calculated EGFR is 127 which is much better than the 85 Anything above 60 for an uh, EGFR is actually not very accurate. The only when it gets below 60 does it become accurate, and that's why I say that you should consult someone when it's less than 60, because it can range and vary based on your hydration status, protein intake, and etc. But when it is above, below 60, it is concerning. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next one.